Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Calm Dew brand air fryer oven combo. 12.7 quarts convection toaster oven food dehydrator, 18 preset functions to fry, roast, dehydrate, bake, reheat, 10 accessories, and a nice recipe book is included with uh, very good pictures and a instruction manual is included also. Now I'm going to show the accessories that this comes with and we're going to show how to use each one. So the Calm Dew air fryer oven comes with a lot of accessories. I'm going to do a pan right there. Now we're going to go over each one of these and demonstrate what it's for. First thing it comes with three different trays and these slide in and they allow heat to go through them and oil so you have a choice so you can cook two or three different levels or trays worth of food at a time this piece right here is the oil catching tray and that goes on the bottom most part of the air fryer oven now for doing kebabs and things like that we want to rotate and cook vegetables or meat chicken beef pork whatever you want comes with this center rod this is used also when you're doing the rotisserie chicken so there are screws that are included and on this rod there is an opening notch and it says R because this is going to go to the right of the machine we're going to demonstrate that but you put that on this you turn the screw right there you line that up and you do that for both sides and the side had an L it had a little notch that you know where to put that once you put that on and tighten those this is going to go into the machine this is going to be on the right side this is the bushing that just rotates this is the drive side we're going to show that and demonstrate that now there's these included there's uh, a whole bunch of these nice skews and you notice that there is a a wide opening and a small hole the wide opening is for this piece to lock into there so if you were to put this into the hole right there just like that then take this end here and compress that down and then it locks in place now you can put them all the same direction or you could alternate them and this is what you're going to put your vegetables or your meat through to hold it as it rotates now this piece is included it's a stand and it has a set screw on there so after you remove your rotisserie chicken or your kebab you can set this on here and it'll hold it in place while it cools down also included is this nice little holder and you take this when it's in the machine and allows you to lift out this out of the mechanism or to insert this so when you're inserting your chicken or your kebab vegetables and meat you use this nice little holder to grab it without burning your hand the unit comes with all the set screws that you're going to need to lock now to use the chicken holder you have these two included pieces I put the 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 uh, bolts on there that are included and we're going to insert it and that little notch right there is going to match up with the nut and I'm going to turn that clockwise to tighten it then on the other side I'm going to do the same there's the little opening and I'm going to slide that in and line it up with that little notch just like that and then you have a way to hold your chicken and then again this is the bushing side on the right of the machine and this is the dry side you also have this really nifty rotating basket you could put popcorn in there nuts whatever you want to cook your french fries that are coated and then you just close this and it locks in place now there's a opening on one side there and another one that has the bolt on there so you're going to take that same metal drive piece and you're going to put this into this piece right there and you want to make sure that this lines up with 
the screw right there. So we're going to put it in so that it lines up to intersect that screw. So we're going to go just like this, slide it through, and then there's that little opening and then I'm going to turn that screw clockwise until it tightens it and that's it. Now it's ready to be put into the machine and again that's the bushing side and that's the drive side and this goes on the right side of the machine. Now there's one other basket or screen I should say and that goes on the top and that is an oil deflector and that should be already installed. That you can pull that out for cleaning just there and what that does it protects the fan and the heater from splashing oil while it's cooking. Make sure that when you replace the screen that you put it with the handle facing down so that the door will close properly because if you do it the other way the door won't close. Here's a better shot of that screen right there. You can see what is behind there. So there's your 1500 watt special heating element and then behind there you can see is your fan and that's what's causing that cyclonic action of air and heat and anybody that's a welder or worked in the arts where you have a flame with air you know that a flame gets much harder with air so the combination of air and heat is what makes this cook so efficiently and so rapidly now looking at the inside of the unit, you could see there's the shelving uh, rack holder sections and you can see all that stainless steel material with reflective uh, properties to it and that's what's going to reflect all the heat. It's going to go all the way around and keep this at a very consistent temperature. Now this model is the AF-120CD works with 110, 115 volts, 60 hertz, which is what the USA is, and it consumes 1500 watts of energy, and I mentioned 12.7 quarts of internal storage, and I give you the dimensions. The temperature range of this goes from 149 to 400 degrees, and the time set range is 1 to 90 minutes. You have a defrost setting that goes from 86 to 176 Fahrenheit, and defrost time set range is 5 to 90 minutes. The dehydration uh, temperature range is 86 to 176 Fahrenheit and 1 to 24 hours so you can do it overnight, your beef jerky and your fruit. As I mentioned the material is ABS in the shell and the bulk of the materials are stainless steel on the inside. As I was demonstrating here it's all stainless steel reflective material. And on the back of the unit there's something that I feel is very important right here. I'm going to zoom in. It has the rating on there, ETL rating. Now this is certified by ETL and FDA. And the important thing to me is the ETL rating. That certification means that the products have been tested to set uh, safety standards. The certification comes from Intertex Electrical Testing Labs. This certifies to me that this is a safe device that you don't have to worry about it being plugged in and it's safe for your home to use or your business. Very important. Okay, the first thing I'm going to try, I'm going to use the basket. So I have the center on there with the drive side and the bushing side. And I have probably about, oh, I don't know, a little over a pound of french fries. They just have a little spray oil on them and some red pepper, black pepper, and a little salt. And I'm going to put them right in this just like that and then this closes and I'm going to put the bushing side on the right I'm going to open this up so I'm going to use the included holder which just goes just like that and you want to put the bushing side slightly to the right first goes just like that so that puts the left drive side and the bushing side on the right we're going to close this turn it on select chips hit start now we're going to hit the rotisserie function 
and what's happening now as you can see it's rotating now in terms of the temperature showing 400 degrees and the time is just showing 15 minutes now we can increase this because I have probably double the amount that they had mentioned so let's increase this to 22 minutes and let this thing run now so it's kind of neat you can see the french fries as they're turning and what's neat about that is I have a, another air fryer where they just sit there and I have to constantly shake them around so this is doing the shaking for me I want to point out that as it's going if you wanted to look at the food you open it up and it shuts down I already hear them sizzling and then when you continue it it doesn't lose track of where it was in the time cycle okay so it's on the uh, last minute we're gonna let it finish and see what happens so it stopped rotating and it said off and again the fan is continuing to cool the unit off let's take a look here Here they are, let's close this up. Now we could use the included stand, just like that, and allow them to cool down so that you can, so there they are, absolutely beautiful. Look at the uh, evenness of the browning that occurred, really nice. Let me taste them now. Wow, really delicious. Okay, I'm gonna show you another application for warming up food very fast. I have two homemade egg rolls right here and I'm gonna use the basket attachment. Let's just put them right on there like that. Separate them a little bit. Put it on the middle rack. Middle rack right here. And I'm gonna separate them just like that and let's close this up hit the power button and let's look at the options right here let's see we're gonna look for reheat there's reheat we're gonna hit start and let's look at the temperature Looks like it's set to 2.30 and looks like it's default 12 minutes. So let's let that run. Let's turn the light on so we can see those beautiful egg rolls inside there. And we'll come back to this as it's completing its cycle. Okay, so we're on the last minute of the reheat. I got the egg rolls in there. We're going to let it shut down. We're going to see how it comes out. And they're now completed. Let's open this up. And there's the two egg rolls. And I want to point out that these were put in while they were frozen. So we didn't defrost them. Let's take a look at them. And there's the egg roll. All ready to eat. Let's take a taste. Hmm. Absolutely delicious. So here I have a 12 inch frozen pizza and I cut it to fit the tray. I think it's like six by nine inches and then the edges are here and I added some vegetables and some cheese and we're going to give it a try in the Calm Dew air fryer on the lowest rack there. Let's turn the unit on. And let's look for a setting for pizza, which is right there. Hit start. And let's let that do its thing. So I think it just has about a, less than a minute left. Let's take a look at the time. And there you go. Let's take a look at it. So we've got the 
small one on top, little pieces, and the larger one on the bottom. Look at the crust. It's all crunchy. Let's take a piece of it right here and try it. Very delicious. So here's the next thing I'm going to try. I have some mushrooms and zucchini and just a little spray oil and I'm going to use the rotation function to cook these and see how that comes out. I'm going to use the vegetable setting which is on the top list to the right and we're going to have it rotate. Okay so it's on the last minute. What's really nice is it's rotating and again, this was just uh, spray oil, so it's very healthy. You can see there's water on the bottom because it's uh, producing water from the vegetable as it gets cooked. And there it completed. And you can see that they're just lightly cooked and there's no real fat on them. Now let's take them and put them out on a plate. Okay, there's the finished product. And you can see it just lightly cooked them, no oil. They have a slight crunch to them. Very delicious. Okay, next thing I'm going to try, these are a cookie recipe that my wife loves and it's macadamia nuts and chocolate chip. And I just took the racks and put aluminum foil and parchment paper on there. So I have it on the top rack and the bottom rack. And we're going to try the setting of cookie. Or actually we're going to try bake. Actually we'll try cookie. Since these are cookies, why not do that? And we'll make some adjustments. Remember, you can always adjust the time and the temperature. So it's 320 and the time set for 25. So we're going to decrease that down significantly. These cook pretty fast to about 12 minutes. Okay, so we're on the last minute now of the cookie setting. And there it turned off. Now this particular recipe, you let sit and you refrigerate. You can see it cooked them nicely. They, they get harder as they sit and you put them in the fridge. And so there's the cookies. And you can see I cooked them very evenly. Now we're going to let these cool off and even put them in the fridge and they will taste absolutely delicious. But it did a real nice job of baking them evenly. So this is the uh, Bloomin' Onion recipe that is in the recipe that's included and we're going to give that a try and they specify the time to be 20 to 22 minutes at a temperature of 392 degrees okay so it's the end of the cooking cycle we're going to let it shut down okay so it turned off and let's take a look at this onion here and look at that so you can see it browned it nicely and it's got a crispy edges on there. It's got beautiful color and it all kind of stayed together. Okay, so there it is. So I'm just going to break off a little piece right here. Mmm, it's really good. You can tell it's healthy. It's got a slight sweet taste to it. It's crispy. You can tell there's like no oil in it. But it tastes really good. I'm going to try to dehydrate some apple slices so I have them on the two included racks. So I have the apple slices. I got the two trays on the middle and lower rack. I'm going to turn the unit on and we're going to find the 
Right here there is a dehydrator. We're going to find that and select that. Dehydrator right there. It looks like the default time is two hours. And we're going to increase that a little bit. And the default temperature right here, we're going to increase that to about 125-130 degrees. And uh, just let this run and dehydrate those apples for me. Now this is excellent for making your own beef jerky also because you can lay strips of beef in there or chicken jerky whatever you want to make. It's unique that it has a dehydrator function. A lot of the units do not have that. And they're completed. Let's take a look here. So we're going to put these on a plate. So there you go. There's the dehydrated apples. And they have a real dry, nice texture. You can kind of hear them as I move them around. Works really well. And once again, this is unusual because a lot of these air fryers don't have this function. Okay, so now I'm going to do the rotisserie chicken. And this is under four pounds. There's three point something. And it's organic chicken. And I have string to kind of hold it all together. Okay, so I have the chicken in there. And from what we read online, the setting is uh, 350 for one hour. Okay, so we're going to turn this on. Now we're just going to go to bake. Right there. And we're going to set the time for an hour. And temperature, 350 degrees. And put the light on and let's put rotation on there. And we're going to let it run and keep an eye on it. But isn't that something? It's rotating it and it's going to slowly cook it. And all the juices are going to drop down and be collected. And that collection pan, by the way, is non-stick because I cleaned it and all the oil and grease came right off it. Okay, so it's on the last minute. And just look at that. See it slowly turning in there. And look at the beautiful color on there. And you can see on the bottom, it has all the extra moisture and the fat on the bottom so it's healthy. So you can see it turned off. Stop rotating. Now we can try and take a look at this. So look at how beautiful that is. You can see it's so evenly cooked because of the fact that it's rotating and then the juices are going through it. And by the way, I put an onion in the center of the chicken just to give it some extra flavor and to help hold it together. But just look how beautiful that came out. Now before you do stop, you want to put a, uh, a temperature probe in there. Make sure that it gets to the proper temperature that's recommended, which I did. But just look how beautiful it is. So you can see the rotisserie function works for any product, but in particular for meat like this, it works really, really well. So what do I think about the Comdo Air Fryer Oven Combo 12.7 Quartz Confection Oven Toaster Food Dehydrator with 18 preset functions? I think this is an excellent product and the quality of it is right where you expect. High quality and it worked perfectly in all the different settings. Very impressed with this product. It works really well. So I'm going to give it a full five star rating on my channel. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to alert you new video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helps you with your buying decisions. Thank you for watching.